All right, thank you. So hello everybody, I'm Nana and uh, I'm from Jiangsu University. So today I will tell you a little bit about us, what we do, where we're located, and about scholarships, etc. So uh, let me first start with uh, where, oh, ooh, wait, just one second, all right. So we're located in uh, Zhenjiang city. It's a, it's a pretty much small city in China. Well, it has more than three, three million people, but for Chinese city, it's pretty much small. Uh, it's located one and a half hour from uh, Shanghai and uh, it's a 20 minutes from Nanjing. And the beauty of living in a small city is that first your living expenses are much lower. Um, your, you can, um, yeah, you can you can actually learn Chinese much faster, and uh, yeah, you can you can enjoy the beauty of the uh, attractions in the city. Now, Zhenjiang City is yeah, it's pretty much small, as I said. It's kind of romantic city, and it's one of the safest cities in China. Jiangsu University. Well, we have more than one hundred history. 100 years old history, but we started with the internationalization, let's say 10 years ago. And uh, as you can see, right now we have almost 3,000 foreign students at the university. When it comes to English taught programs, uh, we have 14 undergraduate programs all taught in English, 57 master's programs and 15 doctoral programs, as I said, all taught in English. When it comes to Chinese programs, we have way much more. Uh, we have 88 undergraduate programs which are taught in English, or which are taught in Chinese. Now, uh, we are mostly engineering-oriented university. So when it comes to engineering, uh, we have, well, I, I would like to say we have almost everything. And uh, some of our um, some of our disciplines are in the top one in China, and especially like pumps or agricultural engineering or material science and engineering. Now, this is our website for Jiangsu University for the uh, international office. And uh, if you do want to have more information about the admissions, you can check it out at the, at the website, or you can join the Overseas Education College website as you can see in the bottom of the page. Now, this is our Overseas Education College website. You can find all the information here, so I'm not going to talk a lot about the, the programs and um, yeah, the academics and what do we have, but uh, I will go more and talk about the, uh, the university and how do we manage with the students and about the scholarships. Now, let me say more about the the scholarships because I've noticed based on your uh, Q&A's that a lot of students are interested in, in it. Um, so here, as almost every university in China, we, have, we do have a CSE and Chinese government scholarship. It unfortunately ended already. But what we have here is the Jiangsu Presidential Scholarship. Now that scholarship, as you can see, it's, it's ranked fifth here. It's the for masters and for PhD students, it is extremely good scholarship. For example, for our PhD students, we have A and B categories. All this more you can find on our website. But the A category is almost in the rank of CSC scholarship. It covers tuition fee, it covers accommodation, and for type A, it gives 5,000 yuan per year. Now, uh, for master's students, this presidential scholarship covers 20,000 renminbi on tuition fee. Now, our tuition fee is way much lower than the fees that I've seen in other universities. So, for example, for the tuition fee, uh, tuition fee for our undergraduate programs are from 18,000 to 20,000 renminbi per year. For our masters, is a 22,000 to 25,000 renminbi per year. And for our PhD students, uh, as almost for all the students who get the admission, it's free. 
So uh, also we do have our school scholarships. So even if you have, for example, presidential scholarship, you could also get the school scholarships. Now the school scholarships, what is, uh, what is beautiful is that you get the money and then you can decide what you want to do with it. So almost every school in our university gives an extra scholarship for students. Some of them are really, really good. So you can also check that one on our website for more information. Uh, also, throughout the studies, we give a lot of scholarships for our students for the participation, for their social contributions, for excellent student scholarship. Now, I would like to say that this uh, presidential scholarship is for every year of your studies. Now, uh, yes, or actually this week, we got accepted for the CSC scholarship for Belt and Road program. Now, this scholarship is for undergraduates. So this is for bachelor's, bachelor degree program. It's taught in Chinese and it's CAC scholarship, but it is only for the agricultural organization. So you can see more here in this, uh, uh, in this slide. You can take a picture and then read more about it later, or you can talk to China Admissions for more information. But it ends already next week. So if you would like to apply, I encourage you to apply as soon as possible. Now, this is our university. It's uh, to our campus. It, it has more than 200 hectares. So now you can imagine how big is it. Uh, we have our buses goes through the campus. We have all the facilities for all the fields. We even have indoor and outdoor pools, uh, basketball courts, tennis courts. I believe everything you even wished for. Uh, now, how we manage our campus life, since I already told you that our university is, is kind of located in a smaller city. So we try to have more rich life for our students. So we're organizing events every week, sometimes even two, three times a week. So we're trying to work more with the students and to push them to do more about critical thinking. We call it 4C, which is critical thinking, cooperation, communication, and the creation so it's creativity so uh how we do we as i said we all we organize these kind of events uh like sign of foreign postgraduate research forums uh, like yale class we do have sports meets for the cooperation uh, as i said we try to we try to work more with the students so we have I believe around 20 associations where our students are in charge of, they organize events, they students are participating. So it's kind of, you're not only focused on studies and, and your work in the classes, but you also try to make yourself a better version so that tomorrow you're going to have skills of how to organize an event, how to, how to schedule stuff, et cetera, how to do better in, in managing, managing stuff. As uh, for the communication, I have to say that I believe last, uh, last year was three times in a row that one of our students went to give a speech for the United Nations Forum. We also have a lot of competitions in, uh, in Chinese, Chinese speech, speech competitions. The creation uh, for the, like we have Life Builder Conference. So as I said, all these events are organized by the students. Of course, the university supports students, but everything, everything is literally done with the students. Now, when it comes to the career opportunities, uh, Jiangsu University signed the alliance with more than 200 corporations in, in China. So all the students who come to, to university are having opportunity to do an internship or to work later on to work with one of these companies. Uh, we also have an association that is actually for these uh, career opportunities. So it's called IDEA, the university. So also our students are, are managing it. So once you arrive to university, you can give your CV to the, the IDEA, the association, and then they will check it out. The, what are the best possibilities for you to get in what kind of companies or where to do research, where to do the, the internship, etc. And then they give and send your, your CVs. So I believe it is, uh, it is a very good very good opportunity. And also these universities, these, uh, these uh, companies also work in, uh, in, in other countries. So even sometimes 
let's say let's say in Zambia we have a lot of a lot of um, corporations and companies uh, from China who work and manage companies in in Zambia and then students after they graduate they already have very good opportunity to, to get a job there now this is uh, these are some of the pictures from our campus this is how the the dorm look so the all the dorms in in the uh, the universities are say, too bad, too bad. And uh, the expenses are around 4,500 RMB per year, which is, I believe, very, very affordable. And even if you decide to live outside, uh, the uh, accommodation outside is very much cheap, let me say it like that, uh, very much affordable. So it goes around, uh, let's say, two, three hundred dollars you can find a very good apartment outside. This is a kitchen in the dorm, which is shared. These are some of the like, a picture from a canteen. We have 11 canteens, which one of them is, well, one canteen is had with halal food, one is international and all others are Chinese. So yeah, I'm, I'm going to end it here. If you have any questions, you can contact us through China Admissions. We work really well together and um, yeah, if you have any questions, please ask here in the Q&A and they're going to share it with us. So thank you. Thank you guys for your attention.